Hi guys, it's nice to watching our um, little um, peek at the spring weather of 2023. So today, for our first video, we're looking at the um, CFS runs from metasteel.fr and, 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 and we're going to run through um, the CFS from now until the end of May, which covers nearly the whole spring period, and we'll see what this just one individual CFS run has to say. Um, now, I must stress that this is just for fun. Um, I, I, I'd actually sort of do this at the, start of, at the start of every season, just to see what it shows, just have a laugh, um, and see how crazy it shows um, things to be, or just if it shows something very ordinary and boring, or if we go crazy with the CFS. So, just for fun, we're going through the CFS, just one run for the weather for three months. Um, so, here we go, I'm, I'm going to get on with it then. A little... Long range special from the CFS. So, as we go through today into tomorrow, um, we've already clarified this in our videos, but um, we're going to see a big northerly plunge push through, and possibly a little breakdown of snow into the late part of the week, um, and then we go milder into mid March, with low pressure rolling rolling off the Atlantic. Well, actually, it's still staying quite cold into Monday, March 13th, with an easterly wind picking up, as low pressure dives southwards and high pressure forms over the Faroe Islands. Um, and actually put in an easterly wind there, um, around March 16th. Um, and, and with and with the um, low pressure in the mix, that could be snowy, could be quite a snowy um, period of March there. And winds go northeasterly there into March 20th and 21st. So this is showing really quite a cold March anyway, um, really quite cold easterly winds there into the um, early 20s of March and then by the um, late 20s of March we see high pressure coming in from, from off the Atlantic so probably frosty nights but sunny and quite mild by day and then we come into the end of March and just on the, on the final day of March high pressure collapses southwards and low pressure, deep low pressure forms over Greenland and Iceland so right on the final day of March, we see a change in the fundamental pattern of the weather. Um, so for 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 um, March, the CFS shows a cold and wintry March. But obviously, don't take it too seriously after about seven days because that's just unreliable. We're just doing it for fun. So moving into April, um, we see low pressure moving from Greenland into Scandinavia in the first two days of April, pretty putting in a cool westerly wind. High pressure then comes in from the south, and the low pressure drops in from the north into the um, late since into the late um, um, part of the first week of April, um, and we stay under quite a coolage of high pressure um, before we draw up a um, southerly wind. So that can be quite spring-like and decent, with winds doing southeasterly and winds coming in from the um, Mediterranean and the Balkans. So it's actually quite spring-like there, until winds um, veer more easterly from Scandinavia, and that will start turning cooler. And I think all the time, even with the south there's there'd still be a chance of frost at night, if it's clear. Um, but, but also quite sp spring-like by day. Going into the um, middle part of April, we see a deep low pressure forming over Scandinavia, and we drop in a bitterly cold north to northeasterly wind. And it stays that way. Northerly winds through the into the um, second half of April, and with low pressure coming to, into the south. Now, of course, we're into late April now. So, I mean, it's it's getting harder and harder to get snow. But looking at that, um, also let's put on the upper air temperatures. Um, let's see what they're showing. Yeah, so quite cold air coming in from the northeast. So if it's if it falls at night time, I wouldn't rule out snow, especially over high ground. Um, and we stay that way pretty much right until the final few days of April where um, we go quite zonal and westerly low, low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, flat westerly winds um, going a bit southwesterly there and a bit dry by the end of the month so um, say this CFS run for April starts off um, unsettled but then goes drier and milder, possibly warmer for a time before going very cold again with northeasterly winds but of course into April um, the air masses to the north are warming up, but still that th that we cold with wintriness, and into the end of April we go more westerly, and by the very end of April high pressure ridges up from the south, and dries things out a bit. 
it gets a bit warmer. Into May then, final final month of spring. Um, we start off May looking quite settled, a bit, a bit chilly, and then we move into the first few days of May, and we look zonal with westerly winds off the Atlantic. Quite cool there on May fifth with quite a storm actually. Um, very unsettled there, um, and we look very unsettled for May. Um, the first half anyway. Before towards May eleventh, we built up high pressure to our south and southeast, and look at this, we go quite decent. High pressure just to our north, and up we pull a wind from like Italy and that sort of area. So that'd be very spring like, very warm, possibly getting towards hot levels. I have no idea. That black is very nice and spring like there. Very nice and spring like, dare I say it's summery even. Um, and, and then high pressure moves to our northwest for, for a little period, just allowing something cooler to come in. And then the high pressure moves over to Scandinavia, and we waft up the wind from the south again. And look at that, high pressure stays over to our east, maintaining a quite, a, quite a warm flow of air over the country. Um, before, towards the very f final few days of May, it looks as though low pressure is trying to um, regain its strength from the Atlantic, but up until the end of May, it pretty much stays to our northwest, and the high pressure by the end of May looks like it is making a move up from the south, and we finish on... Thursday the 1st of June 2023 at 2am with high pressure from the Azores into Ireland and the UK and it's like it's moving northwards to give us possibly, dare I say it, a nice summer. Um, of course, to take it too seriously, so May from the CFS run st starts off on settles but from I say around the um, 10th onwards it's pretty much warm and dry, w warm and m mainly dry anyway and by the rest of it June will start off very nice as well. Um, so it's, it's a spring that starts off cool, or or um, it's cool for the majority of spring, up until May 10th, with wintriness. But from that moment on, spring properly arrives, and then it's like summer, where we will come into June. So, so I hope you enjoyed that um, little video. It's for fun, um, it's for a laugh, it's, it's for a little adventure, a little bit of, a little bit of um, excitement, just see what's showing, a little bit of interest out there. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be at... I'll be back later on with our usual, um, you know, update of the weather, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.